Hello guys, have you ever found yourself saying please or thank you to ChatGPT like it's a well-mannered digital assistant? Well, guess what? Turns out that politeness is actually draining millions of dollars. Yep, being nice to AI isn't as costly as we thought. But wait, that's not the only thing going wrong with AI today. OpenAI's models have another issue. They're getting worse at telling the truth. They're hallucinating more often than sleep-deprived person in a desert. Stick around to find out why and maybe learn how to be a little less polite to your digital pals. Welcome to UTC AI Studio, where AI meets creativity. Here we explore the latest in artificial intelligence and keep you updated on groundbreaking advancements. If you love AI, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. Now let's dive in. The Please Problem According to CEO Sam Altman, it costs the super lab millions of dollars in operational expenses, the money that he nonetheless believes is worth it. Why is saying please and thank you to ChatGPT burning a hole in OpenAI's wallet? We've all done it. Typed out something like please tell me about the weather in my city or thanks for your help. We thought it's polite, right? But here's the kicker, it's costing OpenAI millions of dollars in computing resources. Why? Well, each additional word you use in a prompt, even those polite words, requires extra processing power. You might not see it, but each pleasantry adds up. And we're talking big numbers here. It's kind of like when you ask your friend for a ride and they say, sure, I'll pick you up, but then make a detour for an iced coffee. It costs a bit more than you bargained for. Now, I know what you're thinking. Doesn't politeness make the AI happier or smarter? Unfortunately, no. It's not like ChatGPT has feelings or needs a good morning hug. It's just doing math. Complex resource hungry math. And the more complex the request, thanks to those extra words, the bigger the energy bill. OpenAI isn't exactly clear about how much it costs to run ChatGPT, but it's still attracting billions from investors like Masayoshi Son's SoftBank and Microsoft. Altman even admitted that even $200 a month pro product is losing money. And while AI's power demands are growing, he's looking to take control by investing billions into building out chip capacity to alleviate GPU constraints. On top of that, energy consumption is a massive concern. Last year, US data centers used about 4.4% of the country's electricity, and the Department of Energy predicts that will reach 12% by 2028. The International Energy Agency expects global data center energy use to more than double by 2030, largely due to AI. With AI's rise, carbon emissions are also growing. Microsoft and Google have both admitted their carbon footprints are increasing as AI demands surge, despite their efforts to reduce emissions. In fact, Microsoft is considering using more natural gas to meet its energy needs. And let's not forget about the water. AI computing uses up to 4 million gallons per day in the US alone, a number expected to keep climbing. So next time you're polite to chat GPT, just remember, it's not just the energy bill at stake, it's the planet too. The hallucination crisis. But wait, it gets worse. Turns out chat GPT isn't just burning dollars because we're being too polite. It's also, well, getting a little too creative for its own good. You see, OpenAI's newest AI models like O3 and O4 Mini are starting to hallucinate. No, not that kind of hallucination. These models aren't chasing rainbows or seeing unicorns. In the AI world, hallucination means making things up, fabricating facts, pulling information from thin air like a magician pulling rabbits out of a hat, except instead of rabbits, it's broken links and imaginary MacBooks. On OpenAI's own benchmark called Person QA Evaluation, O3 hallucinated 33% of the time. That's roughly double what the older O1 and O3 mini models did. O4 mini? Even worse, 48% hallucination rate. That's like flipping a coin and hoping your AI doesn't lie to you. And it's not just OpenAI saying this. A third-party research group, Translucy, found that O3 was claiming it ran code outside of ChatGPT on a 2021 MacBook Pro outside of ChatGPT then copied the numbers to the answer. Spoiler alert, it didn't, it can't. That's like your calculator claiming it went on a coffee run before giving you an answer. So why is this happening? Well, the AI industry recently shifted focus from traditional models to reasoning models. Sounds smart, right? These are designed to think better, solve complex problems, and be more human-like in logic without needing massive amounts of computing power during training. But here's the twist. Reasoning may actually be causing more hallucinations. It's like giving your AI a brain upgrade, but forgetting to teach it the difference between facts and fairy tales. Neil Chowdhury, a transluce researcher and former OpenAI employee, in an email to TechCrunch said, 
Our hypothesis is that the kind of reinforcement learning used for O-series models may amplify issues that are usually mitigated but not fully erased by standard post-training pipelines. Sarah Schwetman, co-founder of Translutes, added that O3's hallucination rate may make it less useful than it otherwise would be. Even within OpenAI, this is a hot-button issue. They've acknowledged that hallucinations are a known problem and say they are actively working to fix it. And some promising solutions are already on the table. For example, giving models access to real-time web search helps a lot. GPT-40 with web search scored 90% accuracy on another benchmark. Simple QA. So maybe the solution isn't just more reasoning, but better grounding in real-world data. Still, for businesses that rely on AI for precise results, like law firms or healthcare, an AI that feels creative and starts inventing things can be a disaster. Imagine asking for a legal contract review and getting something that sounds smart but is totally fabricated. That's not innovation. That's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Kian Katan Farouche, a Stanford adjunct professor and CEO of the upskilling startup, Workera, told TechCrunch that his team is already testing O3 in their coding workflows and that they've found it to be a step above the competition. However, Katan Farouche says that O3 tends to hallucinate broken website links. The model will supply a link that, when clicked, doesn't work. And if you've ever asked ChatGPT for a restaurant suggestion and sent you to a place that doesn't exist, congrats, you've experienced an AI hallucination. Not exactly what you want when you're starving. The bottom line, these models are evolving, but with evolution comes growing pains. OpenAI spokesperson Nico Felix in an email to TechCrunch said, Addressing hallucinations across all our models is an ongoing area of research, and we're continually working to improve their accuracy and reliability. OpenAI's O-series is smarter in some ways, sure. But right now, it's like a straight-A student who occasionally insists Napoleon invented the iPhone. So yeah, ChatGPT is dreaming big, sometimes a little too big. The cost of AI progress. So what does this all mean for the future of AI? Well, OpenAI is facing some tough choices. On the one hand, they've built a machine that's getting more powerful every day. On the other hand, this power comes at a cost, both in terms of money and accuracy. As OpenAI and other AI developers push forward, these ethical and practical dilemmas are going to become even more crucial. They're figuring out ways to address hallucinations and cutting back on unnecessary processing. But there's no easy fix. This is like trying to teach a toddler to be polite while also telling them not to spill their juice all over the place. It's a fine balance. And as AI continues to evolve, the big question is, how do we ensure these models are accurate and cost efficient while still being able to serve millions of users around the world? It's like trying to keep a Ferrari running smoothly but without burning a hole in your bank account. Doable? Maybe. But it's going to take some serious tweaking. What this means for you, now, you might be asking, what does all this mean for me, the average AI user? Well, for one thing, it's a reminder that while AI is super helpful, it's still a work in progress. So when you're using ChatGPT, remember, a little politeness can go a long way, but it might also come with a price tag you didn't expect. Also, don't take everything it says at face value. If your AI assistant starts giving you advice on how to build a flying car, you might want to fact check that. So next time you ask ChatGPT for help, Keep it brief and to the point. And if you're really serious about not wasting computing resources, maybe save the pleasantries for your mom, not your digital assistant. So next time you chat with ChatGPT, maybe skip the please, unless you're okay footing part of a multi-million dollar bill. Don't worry, we won't judge. This is UTC AI Studio, where AI gets roasted respectfully. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell for more AI insights. Signing off for now, catch you in the next one.